The sari, a symbol of Indian style known around the world. The most coveted of saris are from India's holiest city, Varanasi. Known as Banarasi saris, they are a must-have. Traditionally, brides wear one on their wedding day. For centuries, the silk saris have been made by hand in villages like this one. The government has even given them a geographical identifier to indicate authenticity. But even these enclaves of creativity are threatened by, what else, competition from cheaper goods made in China. Effect of these Chinese attack in the, in the trade sector, right now the 50% market has collapsed. Weaver Baia is one of the few left in this village still doing this intensive work, a skill passed down to him from the generations who came before him. He says it is an art, but worries it's a dying one. The product that is coming from outside, it has resulted in the shutting down of looms here in the village. Everyone is taking up other jobs, he says. The villagers here tell us making saris with hand looms was the main source of income for generations. There were more than 150 people working on these hand looms. Now, there are about eight people, which means most of the hand looms just sit idle now. Rajni Kant of the Human Welfare Association, which backed the call for tariff reform, said the problem is local traders are cheating people by selling Chinese machine-made sari fabric as authentic Banarasi saris. The price for the knockoffs is a fraction of what the real thing sells for. And weavers complain the government wasn't doing anything about it. If the no agency, the no government will enforce the law, definitely the whole sector will collapse. And maybe in the future, the generation will see the handloom in the museum. At a local sari shop, they admitted to us that some of the sellers are dishonest. Indeed, there are many shops that do that. But if you go to any good shop, he says, they will tell you the original as original and duplicate as duplicate. And shop owners also pointed out that the made in China saris sell well due to simply being cheaper, normal competition. But there was also the issue of the import taxes that made things harder for local weavers. For years, the Indian government placed only a 10% tax on silk fabric from China. That fabric was simply cut and turned into saris. But the silk thread from China that the local weavers used to make the real thing was taxed at 30%. Last year, the government did something to improve things for the local weavers. They changed the import duties. Now, silk thread from China is taxed at just 5%. And demand for authentic Banarasi saris is increasing, a welcome relief to local weavers. There's only one problem. Because so many weavers were forced to find other work, there is now a shortage of those who have the ability to weave this coveted piece of Indian art and history. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Baranasi.